What we want to do in this lesson is learn something about content aware scale. We will use this photo, which was taken on a focus group back in October 16 at Siesta Beach of the drum circle, and the group was the characters around us focus group. Now, our object today is to make an 8 by 10 of this photo, but do not crop any edges off. So that should be easy enough. Uh, I think before we make the crop, I'm going to do a Control J, Command J on a Mac. That'll give us a second layer. And there's the layer. Let's just name that layer. I'm going to double click. We'll call it Scale. Okay. Now we have the two separate layers. We'll just work on the Scale layer. layer. Okay, let's get the crop tool. I'm going to tap the letter C. It automatically brings up the crop tool. And it remembered what I did last, which is 4 by 5 is the same as an 8 by 10. Okay, if I needed another one, I could have picked one of these other ones. But anyway, we're going to go with the 4 by 5. Oh, by doing that, I kind of flipped it. I can flip it back by hitting these double arrows. That kind of puts it back where it was. Now, let's go ahead and drag this over to this edge. Because remember, we don't want to crop anything out. We need this whole thing. It I think it's going to go into a frame, and we don't want any of the, we want all the pixel uh, picture we can get. So there we go. I'm cropping this to 8 by 10. I'm looking at the edge. When I get to the edge, I'm going to stop. Okay. So this way, I'm going to have to add a little bit to the top and a little bit to the bottom. That should be easy enough. I'm going to commit it. Click on the checkbox. Now, I've tried this earlier, and I do need to protect this. Not always do you need to protect it, but I do have to protect this one. So I'm going to get the lasso tool. The protection isn't that hard. All you do is take the lasso tool, and you draw a little selection around the area that you want to protect. In other words, you're telling Photoshop, you can stretch the image, but do not stretch the people, because that's the part I'm going to draw the selection around. Okay, so as I draw this around, Photoshop will understand that this is the part not to select. Normally Photoshop can tell the difference between detail, that would in this case that'd be us, and the background. Sky, cloud, sand and stuff. Maybe it doesn't have as much detail. And maybe it just uses focus and not so things that aren't so much in focus. But anyway, in this particular case we made our own little box. Um, and I think that's good. I don't see any place where I'm off too much. I could add a little bit to this. If I hold the shift key down, see, I could add a little more sky in here. Oops. I have to hold the alt key down. My bad. Let's try that again. There we go. Add a little bit more. Anyway, now, now that we've made a selection, let's tell Photoshop, give it a name. So we're going to right click and it's going to say save selection. So we click on Save Selection, and the name we're going to give it is just simply Number 1. That'll be easy to remember. And now when we make the Content Aware Scale, it will protect this. Now we need to deselect this, so Control or Command D will take away the marching ants. And now I think we're ready to scale our image. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to Edit. Content Aware Scale. There we go. Now when we do this, up comes the option bar. And on the option bar are a couple choices. Number one that we want, which says protect none. That's not correct because we want number one. Remember we used that selection. We called it number one. That'll protect the people in this photo. The, one of the other choices is protect skin tones. Well, I tried that, and since the sky is the same color as the skin tones, it didn't work. I actually had to do the selection method using this number one method. So anyway, now that we have that protected, let's go ahead and drag this up. Now when we drag this up, Photoshop is, knows to stretch the photo, but not the people. And then we're just going to do the same thing down here. And when I get down there, I should do it. So I've drug up and down. We should be in good shape. Now let me commit that. So I'm going to commit it. And it's going to have to go through and do all its work. And now that it's done, it should be good to go. But I don't know if I trust it. Do you? Let's try this. Let's go turn that layer off. That's the layer we just made, the scale layer. Let's t go up to the rulers and pull down a guide. Now if you don't have rulers, just hit Control r or Command-R on a Mac. I pulled a guide and I stopped right on my hat. And here's another one on my 
chin. Uh, pretty close. Now, let's turn on this other layer, and it should be the same size. If it's longer, we will know it. So, okay, I'm on that layer. I turned it on. And let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, now this layer, did, it did move a little bit, but I think it's the same size. Let's just double check. I'm going to get the Move tool. That's V. So I now I got the Move tool. And I'm going to slide this up with the arrow key and stop up my hat to my chin. Look, right on the money. So it did stretch the sky and stuff, but it didn't stretch my head. Now I'm going to hit um, a full screen, control alt zero, bring me back. The easiest way to do that sometimes is just double click on the hand tool. If you double click on the zoom tool, you got 100%. If you double click on the hand tool, you get full. Okay, let's get rid of those, um, what do you call it, guidelines. Control H will hide those. And um, I think we're good to go. Except we do need to go back a step because remember we pulled down. So let me go back a step where I nudged it down. There we go. Now, now the image is back where it was. So that's content a worse scale. And I think that's all there is to it. Well, before we finish up, maybe we better check to make sure that it's an 8 by 10. So let's go to image and then we'll go to image size and we'll look here. It's 15.8 by 12. Well, let's change that 15.8 to 10. So I put in a 10 and sure enough, the height is 8. So we do have an 8 by 10 and I'm going to say OK. The rulers kind of represent that 10 on this side and 8 down here. And before I go, I think I'll just show you the way we used to do it and why that didn't work so well. I'll turn off the layer that we just worked on. Okay, that's off. Now we're back to the regular layer. There's our 8x10 size. Remember how we did it? We, I'll, turn off, I'll click on the lock so that unlocks this layer. Control T, and then we would stretch it up, remember? And then stretch it down. Now, of course, uh, it does make an 8x10, and if I commit it, um, the only problem is we all got a little taller and skinnier. Oh, maybe that's a good thing. But the other way, one, the other way we did it with the content of worse scale, you noticed we still have the right proportions the way we're supposed to be. Okay, so that's content of worse scale. I hope you picked up some information. Thanks for watching.